The Little Pink Balloon Written and illustrated by Lee Hayden Strait Help! Help! cried the little pink balloon as she drifted higher and higher into the air. Be strong, little pink, her father called back to her. Find your way home and we'll be waiting for you. We love you, little pink. I love you too, she shouted as the warm summer breeze took her away. Her eyes fixed desperately on the shapes below, which became smaller and smaller as she floated away. And then they were gone, and she was all alone. Little Pink cried and cried. How will I ever get back? she sobbed. When will I see my family again? She shut her eyes tight as she spun through the sky, above the fairground she loved, up, 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 above the houses and trees. Up, 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 until suddenly everything became still. Her dizzy head was pressed against something soft, and when she opened her eyes and looked up, she saw that she was stuck in a cloud. For the moment she was safe, but Little Pink was tired and scared, so as the sky turned from blue to red to black, and the stars came out, Little Pink fell asleep. Little Pink woke as the sun came up. I'm still here, she gasped, and then she jumped when she heard a tiny voice. Good morning, said a ladybug who was flitting by. What are you doing up here? Oh, good morning, Little Pink replied. I'm from that fairground down there, but I want to go home. Please can you help me? I'd be very pleased to help, smiled the ladybug. I have an idea. The ladybug held very tightly onto Little Pink's golden string with his little legs and took a deep breath. Then he flapped his tiny wings as hard as he could. He flapped and flapped with all his might, but he could not pull Little Pink. I'm very sorry, said the ladybug. I am just not strong enough. I wish I could have helped. But if you don't mind, I would like to stay with you and rest on your string. I would like that very much, replied Little Pink. And so the ladybug stayed, and Little Pink didn't feel so alone. After a while, Little Pink jumped again when she heard another little voice. Good morning, called a butterfly who was fluttering by. What are you doing up here? Oh, good morning, Little Pink replied. I'm from that fairground down there, but I want to go home. Please can you help me? I'd be very glad to help, smiled the butterfly. What can I do for you? Little Pink explained the plan, after which the butterfly and the ladybug held very tightly onto her golden string with their little legs and took a deep breath. Then they flapped their tiny wings as hard as they could. They flapped and flapped with all their might. They flapped and they flapped and they flapped. But they could not pull Little Pink. I am so very sorry, said the butterfly. I am just not strong enough. I wish I could have helped. But if you don't mind, I would like to stay with you and rest on your string. I would like that a lot, replied Little Pink. And so the butterfly stayed alongside the ladybug, and Little Pink didn't feel so alone. A few moments later, Little Pink jumped again when she heard yet another little voice. Good morning, sang a bird who was flying by. What are you doing up here? Oh, good morning, Little Pink replied. I'm from that fairground down there, but I want to go home. Please can you help me? I'd be more than happy to help, smiled the bird. What would you like me to do? Little Pink explained the plan, after which the butterfly and the ladybug held very tightly onto her golden string with their little legs, while the bird grasped it tightly in her beak. Then they all took a deep breath and flapped their tiny wings as hard as they could. They flapped and flapped with all their might. They flapped and they flapped and they flapped. Until suddenly, Little Pink started to move. Wee-hee! she cried. You did it! I'm going home! Together, the bird, the butterfly and the ladybug pulled Little Pink back down from the sky. Down, 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 above the houses and trees. Down, 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 towards the fairground she loved. 
down, 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 down. Until suddenly there they were, her family, searching the sky for her. And then they saw her, and they couldn't believe their eyes. You're home, they cheered. You're home. Little Pink is home. And with that, the bird, the butterfly, and the ladybug pulled Little Pink to her father and tied her string to his as tightly as they could, while everyone cheered and thanked her new friends with all their hearts. Then, with a smile, they flew away, leaving the Little Pink Balloon happy and safe with her family once more. And that's how she stayed for the rest of her life. The end.